Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you this morning for an album review, and this is for Corey Taylor's new album, CMFT, that I'm going to be reviewing. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this album, and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Now, what did I think of this record overall? Well... I didn't know what to think of it at first, because it kind of wasn't as good as I thought it'd be. Um, yeah, I like six of the songs off this album, like really like six of the songs, but the rest are just boring. It's just a snooze fest. Like, uh, you have... Samantha's Gone, which is one of the mellower tracks, but I gave that a 4.5 out of 5. I just couldn't give it a passing rating. Along with Mene Lux, that was a little annoying with the money, 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 Lux. He kept repeating it so much and... He did it again, and I'm like, oh my god, let's get this song out of the way. <laughs> so it was kind of annoying. One of the annoying tracks off the record. Uh, then you have Halfway Down, which is... Mm, Alright. Nothing great, but it's another dull song off the record. Uh... I actually did find this record on Kingdom Leaks, if you want to go check it out. Uh, it just came out, like, this morning sometime. But the song album, if you want to wait for it, it will be out at midnight tonight. Uh, but Silverfish and Halfway Down... Well, they're not bad tracks, they're just not great tracks that I've heard off the record. Um, Kansas is another dull song. Then you get to the singles. Well, Highway 666 is a great song. Black Eyes Blue was... I actually like the song now. I didn't think I'd like it, but it's actually not too bad. And sorry about that, dang it. This phone does this all the time. Um, then you have... Uh, culture head after you finish the Kansas song it's not too bad um, I actually like it now it's I had to listen to it a couple more times because I've been hearing it over a week now and it's not so bad uh, everybody dies on my birthday was pretty good then you get to the last two boring tracks which not the last two boring tracks tracks 10 and 11 are the last two boring tracks off the record uh the maria fire and home home's got a nice piano in it but it's just a snooze fest you're just like oh. kind of like that that's how i saw it but i know everyone else is gonna have a different opinion about it and probably gonna hate this review after me uploading it and all that. But I just can't give it a passing rating. It's not as good as I thought it'd be. Um, CMFT Must Be Stopped is one of the best songs of the year. Uh, not for the year, but it's one of the best songs this year. And European Tour Bus Bathroom Song was pretty heavy. I really liked it, so... I think 6 out of 13 tracks are really good, and the other 7 are just a snooze fest to get through. Um, I already mentioned which songs. Uh, Halfway Down isn't bad, but it is... Sorry for moving the camera away from my mouth and all that. I know I'm moving it too much, so sorry about that. It is a snooze fest to get through this record. Well, until you get to CMFT Must Be Stopped and the final song as well. 
because those are really good. But this record fell short for what it was trying to do to the listener. And for me, I I don't really like this album that much. I think it's okay. I just think it could have been better. Because uh, he went a little, I guess, soft with this record. And I know he wanted to try something different with his music. But it didn't succeed as I hoped it would. Uh... So overall, Corey Taylor CMFT is okay. It's nothing great. I was going to originally give it a 7.5, but considering the lacklusting in most of the songs, like the snooze fest kind of songs, it just didn't strike me as great of a record. So out of 10, I think I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, I'm sorry, Corey Taylor. I know you tried so hard to make a good record. I just couldn't like it that much. Um, I like six of your songs from the album. Like Everybody Dies on My Birthday, Culture Head, Black Eyes Blue, Highway 666, CMFT Must Be Stopped, and European Tour Bus Bathroom Song were my favorites but the rest are kind of a snooze fest to get through when you listen to the album but uh yeah definitely comment below let me know what you guys thought of the Corey taylor cmft uh album if you've heard it and if you like this album review hopefully you did because i know uh it's probably not the best album review uh, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will be returning to you for the Bon Jovi 2020 album review. Because he changed the name instead of Bon Jovi 2020 to 2020. Uh, so I hope that album's pretty good. Uh, this one wasn't bad, it's just okay. It's going to be in my OK to Meh albums of 2020 list. Because I wish it would have been in my Decent to Good, but it wasn't as good as I thought. Because most of the songs were kind of a snooze fest to get through. Uh, seven of the tracks are a snooze fest. You got track three, Samantha's Gone, Manet, Lux, Halfway Down, Silverfish, Kansas... Uh, Mar the Maria Fire and Home. And yeah, there's snooze fests to get through. Uh, but the other six are great. Um, so that's not really that great of a record if you think about it. Uh, I also will be returning to you as well for the Black Pink. Sorry, I was saying it wrong. Slurring my word there. Blackpink, uh, the album review, uh, it's probably going to be tomorrow at least, and then I'll be doing, uh, Demi Lovato's Still Have Me track reviews sometime today, but definitely tune in for those album reviews plus this track review as well. I may decide to do Devil Driver's album review for Dealing With Demons 1. I don't know for sure. I gotta listen to it first and then I'll decide if I wanna review it or not. But I'm sorry that I had to give it kind of a disappointing rating. I just didn't find the album as good as I thought it'd be. Because uh, I was so excited to hear this album. And it kind of let me down. With most of the regular songs being kind of crappy. Uh, but... Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review. I know it. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this review. But, yeah. That's the rating I'm giving it. A 6.5 out of 10. It's an okay album. It just could have been better. Um, but definitely stay safe. 
take care, and I'll see you soon in the next album review.